Okay, welcome to the video on showing you how to manually put in the, your hotspot on the ICOM 9700. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have your latitude, longitude, or your GPS coordinates programmed into the 9700. Now this can be done kind of two ways. If you have a GPS uh, receiver unit on it, then you can do it through that. But for a lot of us, like myself, um, we have this in our shack and there's really no need to have a GPS receiver on it. So we're going to en enter the GPS coordinates manually. And this is important because that way the near repeater function will work at, to find your hotspot and the other repeaters locally to you. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go down to menu. You're going to click normally it will be on page one we're going to go to page two and we're going to hit gps and we're going to go gps set we're going to go manual position and then we're going to hit the quick button and we're going to hit edit and the latitude so you're going to put in your latitude for me here it's 28 4178 hit enter go down to longitude and here it's 81. Again, yours will be different. 5, 8, 12. Enter. And you can put in the altitude if you like. 66 feet here in Florida. And you're going to hit right. And you're going to hit yes. So there you go. You've mainly put it in there. And the GPS select is set to manual, which is what you want if you put it in manually. All right. Now, to program in your hotspot, you're going to hit menu. DVD, DVDD memory, you're going to hit repeater list, and you're going to want to go to the repeater list that's your part of the country or wherever you're at. For me, it's the uh, South, USA Southeast, okay, and you're going to see a bunch of repeaters show up on there, and you're going to want to hold down, doesn't matter which one, but we'll dump the first one, and you're going to want to hit add, okay, and we're going to leave it in DV repeater. We're going to edit the name so you can say your call sign. Mine's K4BBC, and we'll name it Hotspot. And we'll hit Enter. Uh, Subname for people in the United States, you're going to put your state. In my case, I live in Florida, so we'll put Florida. Enter. Call sign, mine is K4BBC. And you're going to scroll down the next screen, and you'll see the gateway call sign. It automatically put it in K4BBC with a G for gateway, okay? The group is already set because we selected that. We were already in the repeater uh, group uh, when we didn't, went into it, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, the use from, we don't really need to worry about. Um, we're going to put the frequency in, so whatever the frequency is of your hotspot, we'll put it in 433700. All right, go down. Duplex. Do you have a duplex? Probably not. Um, we'll put zero for the offset. Position, approximate. And just so you know, the duplex, it, it just it thinks that because you're in a repeater mode, it thinks it's your your hotspot's a repeater, so typically from my understanding, most hotspots don't have an offset. Mine doesn't. I have an open spot, too. It's just a simplex frequency, so we want to turn off. That's why I turned off the offset, and having a duplex there doesn't really matter, um, but this is the best way i found to get it in there. Next, you're going to enter your latitude. So again, my place here is 28, 4178, and then your longitude. In this case, it's 81. Again, like I said, yours will be different. Hit enter. And then your offset, uh, you put your universal time offset here in Florida, it's five hours. And you're gonna hit add right, yes. We wanna add right. Now sometimes it has a skip up here. I don't know why it does that. Um, you can take it off by going to the quick menu, hit, hit and tap skip. All right, so there we go, K4 BBC hotspot, Florida. All right, we'll back out of here and we'll just test it out, make sure it comes up. Now, just so you know, to get into, uh, if you're in normal FM mode or whatever, to get into um, your DR mode, you're going to hold down the call DR button, okay? 
And since this is your hot spot, it's going to be the from. Now we're going to select near repeater, DV, and there you go. You're all set. So I hope you enjoy. This is just a really quick video how to do it. I know a lot of the videos, uh, I looked for videos like this when I was looking at equipment, especially when I was first getting started. And uh, while we, we love to dig through the manual, sometimes it's easier to watch a video for some of us. So I hope this helps out a lot of guys. I also plan to do this on the Kenwood uh, THD 74, showing you how to program your hotspot in there. Now, some hotspots are a little bit different, maybe, as far as what you need to put in there. But this is for the open spot, too. So I hope this helps. 73 is everyone from K4BBC. Guys, take care.